Hey, what's up guys? We are back again. We promised last uh, time that we are going to make our video about how we met. Yes, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw her for the first time. Um, it was in Chennai, and we had a gathering. Uh, and of course, she was just among the crowd, and I spotted her, and I thought she was wow, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was here in Chennai, and uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> so, so when I met her for the first time. I was actually only 19. <laughs> Can you seems, imagine? seems like ages ago. Yeah. So the the time he is referring to when he saw me, but I don't remember, I was 20. But then when we really met was a year later, that is when I remember it. So I was 21 and he was... 20? Almost. No, you were 20, yes. Yeah. So there is an argument between us all the time. Actually, she's not really older than me by one year. It yes. Was only... I, Nine months. Okay, so that you know. No, no, it's one year. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to continue for the rest of our life. So. Who fell in love first? I think it's a very tricky and also very difficult question because I really don't know who fell in love <laughs> first. But I think, I think that, you know, I mean like if somebody look at me, oh you know, my like, God. I mean, who will not fall, right? So. I guess she yeah. fell in love with me first. <laughs> okay, I just have to clarify one thing. There's always the real story, how it happened, and then there's his version of it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, you know, I, it's, it's a little bit hard to say because we yeah. were really, really good friends at first. Yeah. Um, but um, I definitely liked him a lot because I thought he was, he was a wonderful person um, and I think in initially we were just really yeah. friends. Yeah. And then we were really we were best friends. Best friends yeah. and still are. But I think probably <laughs> at the same at the same time, I would say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think yeah, so the beauty, I mean for us, of course, you know, I saw her and then she was like, Whoa, she's beautiful. But then I think when I get to know her, that's where I really get to know her inside also. And the beauty defined not only by the outward, but also from inside. Yeah. Yeah, and so for him, I saw his inward beauty first, <laughs> and he what? only turned out so handsome later on. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, that's, yeah. she said it's kidding. So, <laughs> wow. This is a really good question. Yes. That's my favorite part of the story. <laughs> so why don't you share your your All right. side? All right. So quick. Just a quick, long story short, all right? So uh, she came to to my place where I was working, and then uh, and uh, she... And you know, like to visit. Yeah, so by that time I was already in love, and uh, I was really praying that this is the right person. And how do you know she's the right person is another story. But I felt that she was the right person for me. Uh, you know, I was thinking about marriage and all kind of stuff. So anyway, I called her, and we were sitting in one of the places, it's called under the cherry tree and uh, I wanted to say that I love her and I'm you know looking forward to have you know more than a friend but for some reason I could not let it out of that world because I was afraid of the uh, yeah that our friendship would go in a different direction so that was the first first shot yes and at the same time I had also been praying I mean God is really important for our lives so you know for us it was really important to ask God know is this the right person and we both had individual peace about it not knowing that the other person had been praying yeah. about it um, and so I was visiting um, India at that time because I was actually living in Germany and mm -hmm. studying and I just came for a visit to visit all my friends here um, him included but among many others but I had really asked God to make it clear if you know he is supposed to be more than a friend or just a friend um, and when he called me to sit under the cherry tree um, I oh actually the first one was at the well okay. so one was at the well and then the yeah. second time was under the cherry tree. So, under, yeah, yes the so I was really expecting that he would say something but then yeah. he was just blabbering and saying 
nothing of like real importance and I was like okay maybe so second attempt she came again to my workplace and then this time I said I really have to step up and really say what I need to, to say and so that I also know and then you know from then on I can move forward she came and then uh, I called her and then we were now sitting under the cherry tree and then we had the conversation started with how are you doing and how was your day and how was your time here in India and etc etc and then inside of my heart I was thinking I need to say now I need to find that moment to say it and then of course you know in the middle of the conversation she got a phone call so she went and then I also had some other work so again I could not let it out of this thing inside of my heart yes <laughs> and then you know I was uh, I left uh, again to another place and uh, I had a few days left before going back to Germany yeah. to my studies and so you know you have to do what you have to do so I called him and at that time there was no mobile phones right so yeah. there in India they had these PCO phone, uh, booth, yeah. phone booths you yeah. know where you could make a landline call <laughs> those of you who remember know what I'm talking about um, and uh, so I called him in, in his office and I, I said, uh, hey, so I'm going back <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, what do you expect of this friendship? Yeah. And this is what he said. So I asked her, I think this is the thing that you must learn, all right? This is a good tip. When somebody asks you a question, you ask them back with a good question. So she asked, uh, you know, I, I, sorry, I asked her, so what do you expect? That's so I asked I ask. him first and he asked me back, so yeah. very clever. And then I said, I expect openness and honesty. And I said, so since you expect openness and honesty, I'm going to share what I have to share. And then so he I finally told her that said, I felt, yes. you know, this is why God was leading me and, um, you know, yes. and then uh, <laughs> that would she be my girlfriend and, and you know, and then and I also, the, another question that I answered was very important uh, for me personally, I said, uh, you know, I don't want you to respond to me based on your emotion, you know, but I told her to just to go back and pray about it and uh, and if God is really leading you, then, you know, let's go ahead and that means it's, you know, we are not trying to, to fool around and waste our time and, you know, if you say yes, that's it, we are going to get married, like, in, at, in one year, point, in, yeah. at one point in the years to come, so uh, yeah. that was, uh, it was a hard question, but it was a good question, I made the right choice. Yes, and then... Long story short, a few days later, because I couldn't get a hold of him, I called him back and I told him, the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> yes. And then I told her on the phone, all right, I said, uh, anyway, we were just talking and then at the end I said, uh, I love you. And I was so shocked, I said, I love you too, click. <laughs> and I was like, what's that? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I had to go back to Germany and we didn't really see each other yeah. for 10 years, yeah. uh, 10 years, 10, ten months. months yeah. um, and um, then I came again for, um, I did some practical uh, mm -hmm. internship here mm -hmm. and... And then we met again after 10 months. And, and then you came to and then Germany. I went to Germany and then of course as a man I have to ask for the hand. Yes. Uh, you know, um, of their daughter, so I approached the father and whether he would give her daughter to me and he was very happy and then we got engaged on the on April... Um, 19th. Yeah, 19th. 2005. 2005. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you. We're at 2018 right now. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> yes. that was good. Yeah. And then we got married in... November 2006, 2006. Yeah. so you can count yourself yeah. <laughs> how long that was, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, when I got married, I was uh, 24. And I was 25 because I'm one year older, remember? <laughs> Keep that in mind. So um, if, you're, if you're curious about how long we are married, uh, we are married for... 12 yes. years! Woo. Just had our anniversary. Yeah, and if you have been following us, you have seen our boys. We have three young, wild, uh, energetic, active, active awesome boys. boys. Yes. yes. So. The most important thing for me personally in, in marriage, you know, for a, a deep, uh, good relationship is honesty. I think it's very important and honest openness. And this is one thing that's very important. And of course, commitment. Commitment is so yeah. important. 
uh, communication comes under openness and honesty yes. and then with that commitment I think that is so important that is uh, and then another thing is first and foremost the most important thing is for us God yeah. God is the most important thing in a, in a good relationship so yes yeah I think you already covered pretty much everything the only thing I would add is humor <laughs> ah. I mean it's I think it's very very important that you are able to laugh yeah. together yes. at each other yeah. sometimes about each other <laughs> and uh, you know like to the point where you roll on the floor laughing yeah. holding your tummy and yeah. um, kind of this really helps yes. to ease situations and yeah. Not to take yourself too seriously, I guess. That's true. So in the how, like in the shim race, we laugh a lot. Yes. Like in so many ways, like our humor is so different, and I like that because you know, uh, German humors and the Nagas humors are so different. And, yes. And sometimes it's weird, <laughs> you know, if I crack joke and then she doesn't get it. Yes. And the other way around too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and most people think that Germans are not funny, but I hope I yeah. proved him a little bit yeah. differently yeah. now. Yeah. And he's definitely, well, trying to be very funny, but mostly he is really funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Sarcastic, but funny. And um, I really enjoy it. And our boys also, I mean, they're also, yes. they are cracking up, laughing, yes. Yes. our jokers, they enjoy it very much. So yeah. we try to incorporate that in, in pretty much every aspect of life. That's right. Humor. Yay. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for watching and subscribing. And we hope that you will continue to follow us. And if you have questions, please shoot that question to us. And we'd love to answer. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that clarified some of your questions. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the story and the pictures. Yay. Bye for now.